All right, back again, Luke here. And today I wanted to show you guys this package that just came in, and this is from Canada, which is uh, kind of awesome. And this package here comes from a, uh, a YouTuber, goes by the name of AC Zero Char. Now, uh, you might be able to uh, recognize that the box here is from the Japanese post office. Uh, it's because I sent him out uh, some stuff that he was looking for, and uh, he said that he wanted to send something in return, uh, kind of like a, a way to say thanks. And I wasn't really, uh, you know, I, di I didn't want anything really in return, but uh, I thought it was pretty nice of him to, um, you know, to offer, and I thought, okay, I'll, uh, you know, I'll take you up on it, and, and you know, um, yeah, here's the package. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's open this beast up here. You can see I've kind of tried to remove some of the uh, labeling, but it took, uh, it took everything off of it. Also, it was uh, interesting because uh, the package, although it came from Canada, it looks like it was rerouted to uh, Argentina. And uh, it was shrink wrapped in uh, plastic, which was kind of cool. I also had uh, this here. So I'm guessing this is from uh, Argentina Customs saying that the package was open. Unfortunately, I can't read Spanish, so um, I'm just making a, a guess here. But uh, yeah, that was in there. So I never seen a package re shrink wrapped before, so I thought that was kind of cool. And I was trying to look for my knife, but I couldn't find it, so I'm using a flathead screwdriver <laughs> here to open this thing up. Now, yeah, let's see what's uh, inside this monster. Oh, well, first off, we got a note. Let's see here. Hi, Luke. It's Alan. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you for hooking me up with the systems. As you were the only person that I have asked to willingly even ta uh, take a look at my broken uh, family. But uh, since I got the one you have, I have sent mine to you for spare parts. I also included some games for you and a uh, Chinese veggie snack as a token of appreciation. Thanks again, man. By the way, your vids are the best. Alan. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys haven't guessed already, um, Alan's uh, Famicom was basically broken. And uh, I had uh, another one that... Uh, I was selling and you know we talked about it and he was interested in it and yeah I guess he sent me his old one here to uh, to have wow and some Chinese snacks you know if I could read Chinese that would be awesome but I can't <laughs> the kanji is uh, you know in the different pronunciation but that is pretty awesome I don't even know what this is wow doesn't oh let's see oh Let's see. Vegetable oil, soy sauce. Uh, hmm. Doesn't really say as far as like different meats or anything that are in it. But interesting. Cool stuff, man. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you for this. Oh, man. Got some uh, family, Super Famicom action going on in here. Let's see. Some fam Super Famicom carts. Well. Wow. Wow, I'm surprised these things made it over. I think they have uh, batteries in them normally, but uh, normally, yeah, Japan Post would say no way. So here's uh, Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy V. Terrific, man! Very awesome. Maybe, uh, maybe the batteries are removed from them. Yeah, not, uh, not a big deal. They can always be replaced. They do feel a little bit lighter, so maybe that's it. <laughs> awesome. And let's see, what is this? Dum -dum. Ah, a couple of PSP games. There's Gundam vs. Gundam. Nice. Awesome. And Macross. Holy mackerel. Kind of cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> I have to get out the old PSP again. Funny enough, I actually wound up uh, charging it the other day. And, uh... Let it uh, sit and and see how long it took to drain, and it actually stayed um, with a charge for about oh a good four days or so, a good four or five days, which was pretty awesome. So that'll be something fun to uh, mess around with here. And here is the old Famicom in question. I'm not sure what's wrong with this thing. Let's take a look at it. it. Might just be a a RAM issue or something. Wow, <laughs> nice little paint job going on there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I definitely have a couple of uh, Famicoms that are uh, in need of some parts if, uh, if this thing's not going, but we'll take a look at it and see what happens, see what we can do with it. Awesome, man. Very, very nice. What is this? Let's see here. What's going on with this one? Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, that's the Gundam suit or Mobile Suit Gundam side story for the Sega Saturn. I think I have this one. Um, I'm not sure. I have to double check. But I've definitely, uh, yeah, definitely seen this one quite a few times. This is pretty awesome, like a mech, uh, mech shooter. But uh, very nice, very nice. Awesome stuff, man. Look at all this uh, Japanese-only uh, stuff in here. <laughs> Make it really easy to, uh, to play. And the last one, let's see what's, what's inside this. <laughs> nice, nice. Silence go for the old uh, PlayStation 2. Fantastic. <laughs> See, the, uh, the thing about this is, I mean, it comes at a great timing, and I'm still trying to mess around with that silent scope board, <laughs> trying to get that thing going, but it's just not working. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that thing going sometime soon. I'm going to give it another shot today and see if uh, see if we can get it going. But uh, if not, at least I could play the PlayStation 2 version, which is still pretty cool. Thanks a lot, man. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome of you. So, yeah. Uh, once again, a huge thanks here to uh, AC Zero Char um, for all of the awesome stuff, and uh, I'm really glad that uh, you enjoy the old Fami and the Fami setup there. Hopefully, playing some good old disc games and things like that. But uh, yeah, I'll to test out some of this stuff here. <laughs> That's about uh, all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.